Hey everybody, this is Shalfus from the G Kick Network here, and we are going to be cracking open this bad boy. Oh yeah, look at that. World of Warcraft, Mists of Pandaria Collector's Edition. Yep, so we just got that a couple days ago, and we are going to take a look at some of the stuff you can get inside of that if you happen to order it. Uh, of course, if you, if you didn't order it, you can probably still get a copy. The Collector's Editions don't quite disappear the way they used to. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can probably even still find a Cataclysm Collector's Edition. <laughs> anyway, here it is. That is what the bad boy looks like. Cover art, pretty much the same way it's been for the past every year. So, that's the way it looks. On the back, you got your... Show that bad boy. Forgive the glare, but a little bit of a... Just paper thing on here. As you can see, it's just sort of... Eh, it's paper. This probably won't last long if you have this collector's edition. It just shows you everything that's inside. And of course some of the digital stuff. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Well, let's not waste any time, shall we? Let's dive in. Uh, let's dive in the other way. There we go. Let's not dump everything out on the floor. Now look at this. This is really cool. This is a great way to open this package up. I'm going to show this to you. So that is the art book for Mists of Pandaria. Look at that badass cover. Isn't that great? Now, I haven't even opened this one yet. It's a little open up at the top here, but let's, uh, let's rip it open, man. Let's dig in. I love these art books. These are like the best parts of the collector's edition, are these art books. Look at that gold foil on that. Let's check the back. Badass. It's all textured, too. It's great stuff. Let's take a quick peek. Not gonna ruin the whole thing. A little bit of like a, I don't know, foresty type finish there. The art of World of Warcraft Mists of Pandaria. Ooh, orcs. A bunch of orcs. What else we got in here? Oh, some structures and stuff. Yeah, this is really cool. I'm sure there's probably some spoilers for things in here, so I won't delve too deep, but this, hands down, got to be the best part of the expansion of the Collector's Edition beyond the game itself. So, let's set that bad boy over there, and see what else we got. Alright, free mouse pad, like usual. I got one of these last year, I used it for a really long time until I got one from Razer. Um, yeah, it's a, it's an okay mouse pad. Kind of cheapy, you know, I mean, don't expect too much, it's free. But you got the box art on the cover there, of the regular edition. Uh, that's it, man. This is simple, basic stuff. Alright, let's see what else we got. Soundtrack, as always. Got a, uh, I don't really know what that is on the cover. Hold on. Yeah, I don't know. That's some kind of badass thing. It's in a paper sleeve this time. Usually, I know last year at least they were in a uh, plastic case, like most CDs. There's your track listing, I'm sure. If you are a fan of Asian-inspired music, you'll find a lot on this. Another great asset to any collector's edition. Yeah, let's see what else we got here. Oh, well, look at that. Yeah, let's move the whole box over. Why not? The game, Mr. Pandaria Collector's Edition, or just the regular edition, already open because it's already been added to my wife's account. There's the game. My thumb is covering the key, but the, key, the key's already been redeemed, so I guess it really doesn't matter. And it's a two-disc DVD. So that's a lot of game. Two whole discs. Maybe I should just install that instead of uh, downloading it. Might save me some time. And you got a little bit of the basic stuff, getting started, doing all sorts of crap, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. No big deal. But, that's the game. I'm sure you'll get that even if you get the normal copy. Alright. And we got here. So I'm ripping the whole box apart. Ugh, come on, you. Alright. It's the Pandaria Behind the Scenes DVD. That's a panda. So, what else we got here? Got Director's Commentary. Developer interviews, all sorts of neat stuff. So, I'm sure this will also be very fascinating to watch, and I probably will watch it later at some point, maybe give my thoughts on it on one of the future G Kick podcasts. But, in any event, that's really it as far as stuff goes. A few guest passes here. You got a guest pass for, I should probably not show these keys if in case we want to actually use them. Here, I'll do some stealthy work there. 
guest pass for StarCraft, two guest passes for World of Warcraft. Uh, I don't know really what the perk is behind a guest pass, considering you can, you know, play the game for free anyway. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. You get a bunch of those. And that's really it. Those are all the physical items you're going to get in the Collector's Edition. Uh, yeah. There's that awesome cover. That is $79.99 US right now. Probably for as long as the game is new. But that's really it. Uh, most of the other rewards are going to be digital. You know, you get your pet, your mount, you get your profile in StarCraft if you play that. Your banner and sigil stuff in Diablo if you play that. If you don't play any of it, then well, all you get is the pet and the, war and the mount for the game. But it all goes together nicely. And you can just seal that bad boy right back up. And there you go. So there you have it. World of Warcraft Collector's Edition. Unboxing. Fantastic. So, we'll see you next time. We'll give our thoughts on the game. And don't forget to find us on the server. Of course, we're at gkick.net. Listen to the gkick podcast. And uh, you can find this video online. Probably on YouTube. It's usually where they put it. Alright? Alright, thanks for watching.